Oh, hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I love makeup. Today I am sitting down to do a get ready with me slash therapy session. I needed to get some stuff out and I feel much better. Um, so the first part's gonna be kind of a bummer, but I promise things look up at the end. All right, hey guys. Um, I don't even know what to say today. I have been sitting here staring at the camera trying to like get started and get ready to film and I just haven't been able to but we're just gonna do it. I um I'm having a kind of a rough day. We um you know the hits keep coming. <laughs> Mike and I are just having a really it's been a tough little while for our family um and today was just another one of those days it's rough um but talking to you guys and putting on makeup always makes me feel better so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm continuing my no buy for the month so I'm gonna use the Joa Truly Yours foundation drops every time I use these I go gosh I really like this foundation so yay I know my eyes are probably puffy and red it's just been kind of one of those weird um drippy sad days <laughs> i'm gonna try not to be such a bummer the whole time um but we did find out today that mike did not get a job that he was going out for that was going to be a really good one we thought um i guess it came down to you know the final two and they just you know were it was really good close competition and they just went with the other person which happens um but you know it's a real bummer. Um, so that means that our kiddo is going to be coming out of daycare, um, which is why I'm upset today. We just love our daycare lady so much. She's been, um, she's been like Magnus's second mom since before he was one. And he's going to be four in November, so it's just really hard today. It feels like we're breaking up with somebody or like losing a family member. I mean, we were going to be going through this in not too long anyway, because Magnus will be going to preschool soon. He's still going to be four in November, but it's just really hard to say goodbye. So, um... So that's that situation. So it's been kind of a teary day today because today will actually end up being his last day. Um, in better news, this foundation holds up pretty good against tears. If you're looking for something to cry in, this one seems to be a pretty good one. <sighs> All right, let's get some concealer on this business. Um, I'm gonna try the Rimmel Stay Matte just cause it's right here. <laughs> I don't really care what I look like today. Um, so like, yeah, so it's just been, it's been rough. Like things will get better. It's, but it's just like, when's the break going to come? And I know I feel like I talked about this already, like a month ago. So things still, I guess, haven't progressed. Like we've both been out on interviews. We're playing everywhere. And it's just like, what do I smell? And I just don't know what to say. I mean, it's. It's hard. So I guess we're just gonna keep plugging along and things will happen when they're supposed to happen. And in the meantime, we'll just get to spend a lot more time with our awesome kid. Today I'm gonna dig into my ColourPop palette that I built a long time ago because I haven't used this in ages and I really loved it and I don't wanna do too crazy today. Um, so we're just gonna use these little shadows down here, probably just these three. In other news, I talked about, I think probably in last week's Get Ready With Me, I talked about wanting to start a second chip. Oh, that's darker than I thought it was going to be. Um, a, start, a second channel for like just stuff around our house and our gardening and cooking and all that stuff. And you guys were like really supportive of the idea. Um, so I did go ahead and build that second channel. I'm editing a video for it today. Day. It's going to be the garden tour of what we put in this last week and actually I am very excited because I already have an update to it where some of our um, Swiss chard and kale plants that I grew from seed, um, those I like to just, just directly sow into the ground. Um, but today I noticed that they came up out of the ground 
So things are moving along. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, but if you want to check out that channel, I will put it here and then link it down in the comments or the description box below. So starting that channel is going to be a pretty nice little welcome distraction. Um, I've got a bunch of ideas already for videos that I want to put on there. Um, so I think that will be fun. And it'll, it'll be something that the whole family can be involved in. So we'll have Magnus around. We can do like toddler time and um, he loves to help garden and help cook. So that'll be really great. Um, Mike inherited a smoker from my brother so he ooh, dang these shadows are like so much more pigmented than I was expecting <laughs> oh well see look I'm already feeling better you guys are the best I think it'll be really fun it'll be a really nice just way to kick off our summer and spend time together as a family and um so check that one out if you want to see me talk about other things than makeup and hair and murder all right, I think I don't want to do a liner today. I'm just going to do mascara um, and hope I stop crying because I don't have, I don't think I have any waterproof mascara. I'm actually going to try out this Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama. Last time I tried it, it was like super wet and I didn't like it, but it's been open for a while. I'm hoping it kind of dried down and thickened up a little bit. We'll see. Because you know, like sometimes you try a mascara and at first you're like, this mascara sucks. And then you kind of set it down and come back to it like a couple weeks later and then all of a sudden it's awesome. I swear it's because it just thickens up a little bit in the tube and just gets better. Um, so far, not the case for this one. It still seems really wet and transfer-y. But I also like to layer my mascara. So we'll do this one and then we'll zhuzh it a little bit. Um, and the brush is funny. I don't know if you can see, but like there's hardly any bristles. So I just, I don't get it. <laughs> um, it doesn't really curl or push up and it doesn't lengthen and it's wet and sticky. So, or maybe I just have stubby little lashes, but I feel like, yeah. I feel like my first impressions on this guy were pretty accurate. It's not a, I don't, I don't like this one. Um, you can see it's like, it's real wet, so it transfers a lot. And my lashes just don't look good, but I can feel myself blinking and I hate that. I am a mess. Um, so I didn't want to put on liner today, but I ended up now having really bad liner on because the transfer was so clumpy that it looked like I had a half an eye of liner on and it looked just crazy. So we're moving on. We're accepting my eye look as it is today and we're moving on. I'll do my brows. Brows make everything better. That's what's new in my world. Trying to keep our heads up trying to find the things to be thankful for. Like that's a thing that has really, I think, helped us lately to kind of maintain our cool and not be at each other's throats through all of this. I mean, granted, we, um, our relationship, we're, Mike and I, my husband and I, we're very about talking about things, which I think helps us. Um, we hardly fight. It's because I'm non-confrontational. Um, and in order for me not to shut down on him, I need to talk things out. Um, so we're pretty good about that. But I think another thing that's really helping us like get through things is realizing what we do have um, to be very, very thankful for right now. Um, for example, like the house we live in, we could not have asked for a better situation going into what we're going through right now with our um, job situation and just, you know, how understanding a lot of people in our life have been, you know, when we, you know, can't participate in things or um, just having bad days, you know, we're very lucky that both of our sides of our family have been relatively supportive and, um, good about the whole thing.
And another thing that I myself am very thankful for is that I do get to spend more time with Mike and I do get to spend more time with Magnus because when we were both working, we would have the thing where, you know, you get off work at five, you come home, you scramble and you make dinner, you play for like 25 minutes with your kid before it's bedtime. Um, so now we, you know, get to pick him up a little bit earlier in the day. We get to have afternoons, you know, afternoon playtime. Um, a little bit more. Mike and I are getting to spend some, a little bit more time together. I mean, he hasn't been unemployed as long as I have. So that is something that I am definitely thankful for. Although, you know, having to spend time with your family, um, not the most ideal circumstances, but I am glad that we do get to have time together. And I'm also going to use in the same palette these two on my face. I remember this bronzer not showing up super great, so we'll see how it works. Usually for my bronzer, I use like this really big fluffy brush, but today I'm going to actually use the contour sculpting brush from Real Techniques just because it's a little bit denser, so I think it'll pick up a little bit more of the color from the pan because this one's pretty sheer. Yep, I think that'll work just fine. So yes, that is definitely helping is to kind of, you know, have that to use a really cheesy overused phrase is to have that attitude of gratitude. Yeah, we're going through a real shit time right now, um, but it will get better. Things like this aren't gonna last forever. Things will get better. So just kind of realizing what we do have in these moments and, you know, being grateful for them now. So we'll be extra grateful, that, grateful for them in the future. Um, it's just really helping. And for my lips today, I just watched Kathleen Lights talk about how she does her big juicy plump lips by overlining and I'm gonna try her method and we'll see how it works. Basically what she does is take her liner and start like here, but don't line all the way around, just kind of go in and under. I'll do my best. Okay, do they look big and juicy yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use the Stay Satin Liquid Lipstick in the shade It Girl because it's basically the exact same color as the liner I just used. So I think that will help. Okay, do my lips look bigger and plumper or do I look like a crazy person who doesn't know how to draw lips on her own face? What do you think? Her final tip for like the good lips was putting on a really glossy gloss, so I'm gonna use this one. It's called Orchid. It's from Senegens and it's like my go-to for like juicy full lips. Holy shit, she might have been onto something here. If you think these look pretty good, and I kind of do, um, I'm going to link Kathleen's video over here because she does a really good job of explaining the technique a lot better than I do and a whole bunch of other things that go around go along with it. Um, so definitely check that out. I kind of think this looks good. Does it? Let me know in the comments or if I just look kind of crazy. I don't know. But I kind of like it. I kind of like it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being my sounding board and my therapy when I need it. Um, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Hopefully the next video won't be a teary mess, but I make zero promises. And with that, I thank you for watching. I hope you have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.